to and welcome back to another Photoshop PPE. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh, and in today's video we're going to be getting into a quick body retouching. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I do when editing a photo and getting ready to, you know, go ahead and start to get into the retouching process, I like to zoom in and start to scan from the top all the way to the bottom, analyzing what I can do to make this image have a better final result. I try to do as much as I can in camera, but it's things that are uncontrollable that can always be done in Photoshop. So this is where we are. So right now I'm going to start at the face and I'm just going to start going in with the actual spot heel tool and start lightly brushing around and getting and removing the small imperfections that are on the face. And my whole thing when retouching is to always diminish, never really remove it, especially when working with a male. I like to keep those, you know, realistic characteristics of the skin and the face within the image as well. Like, it's not always going to be, you know, completely porcelain and plastic. So like I said, I'm going to start my way from the top to the bottom doing the spot heel all right and then as I continue to work on that I am then going to bring it a little lower And fun fact about this, I took this photo back in maybe like 2013, and this is one I just wanted to hop back into and, you know, retouch and kind of, you know, put a little spin on it. But it was 34 degrees outside when we shot this on top of a rooftop. <laughs> and as you can see, you can uh, he has a bit of, you know, uh, goosebumps and things like that. But, man, it was 34 degrees with a high wind, and plus we were on the top of the, you know, parking garage, so it was a whole different level of freezing and we're just uh, continuing continuously keeping those same you know strokes pattern and kind of going along the skin and correcting those things that can look a little bit better and that we want to d r diminish Alrighty. And in this process, just try to correct as much as possible. That way, when you go into actually using the frequency separation and all those other tools, you have a really good base to the image that allows to have a very clean and smooth surface. And what I'm doing right now can also be tackled in these dark, darker areas with dodge and burn, so we're going to do a little bit of that as well. So what we're going to do is zoom out a little bit, and I am going to go up here to the uh, four and the after of what I've done so far. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go up to the face and clean it up just a little bit more. Back out a little start analyzing is there anything else I want to correct Ooh. 
more writing. So now what I'm going to do is go back up here to the face and start using my dodge and burn tool and a little bit of, well actually I'm going to jump in with the clone stamp tool first, bring that at a low opacity and I want to diminish these little dark spots right here by the smile lines. So I'm going to lightly start brushing around that area with a clone stamp tool just to diminish those spots before we jump into the second portion. And sometimes what I like to do as well, depending if I want to work it, like speed up the process a little more. Boom, I'll just take that and do that. And that is an even quicker method to just get that out of the way. So, I'm going to then go in with the dodge and burn tool and have a low opacity and start lightly brushing around those areas that I was talking about in the skin. I'm going to boost this up a little bit more. And making sure while I'm doing this, I'm not overdoing it. So what I like to do is go into these different areas and zoom in and zoom out. Keeping that detail, but at the same time bringing a little bit more attention to it. So here I'll show you a little bit so far. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is zoom out right quick and go straight into the other portion of his body. And this model right here, his name is Isaiah Hamilton out of New York City. I just want to diminish those darker portions of his leg for the moment. Even the sides, brighten them up a little bit. And not too much go in with a you know, whole dodge and burn portion right now, but I just want to start bringing that detail out a little bit more under the chin, the arms. As you can see, I'm lightly brushing. Bring detail and create separation. All right. So now that I got it to this portion, I'm going to go right back up here and let you see what we've done so far. And we've literally done like simple tricks of using the patch tool, using spot heal, dodge and burn, the clone stamp tool to get to this result so far. So here's a quick before and a quick after of those simple steps. So now what I want to do is go in to the retouching essentials package and go to the advanced frequency separation. I'm going to click play, select my Gaussian blur at 14, click OK, then go right back over here to the advanced frequency separation, deselect the high frequency separation, and then click the low frequency separation. And I'm going to zoom in, go to the mix brush, and make sure a lot of people have been asking me about uh, this whole thing of using, you know, uh, software like Retouching Academy or the Retouching Essentials Package. 
All you have to do is deselect this and make sure there's nothing there. And then it's also while you're working, you're sampling all layers. And that will help you to be able to use this a little bit more efficiently. Alrighty. Like I said, I'm just going to start brushing around the image, cleaning it up a little bit. And I have all of my settings up here, my wet, my low, my mix, flow. But right now I just want to make sure we're getting a great result. Changing my brush stroke size as we go on certain areas. Brushing in certain directions in certain areas. And as you see, while we're working, different processes of the skin is starting to change. I'll do this arm. So I'm going to zoom out right quick and see where I'm at. There you go. This is where we are so far. Before. After. All right. So what I'm going to do is close this out, flatten, and go right back into the dodge. And just start brightening up those details I want to gain back So here we are so far. So now what I'm going to do is go right back into that retouching essentials package. Close these out, go to skin smoothening, click play, go down, deselect, select, and start brushing around the skin where I want to just smooth things out a little bit more. And what I love about using things like different, uh, you know, Retouching Academy or Retouching Essentials, you know, different inputs you put in Photoshop, it helps speed along the process more than, you know, it, it could ever, you know, just, you can never imagine. You know, sometimes you get into these softwares and you don't have a certain amount of time to be able to take your time, you know, throughout every single detail of it. Now, don't take this as a thing of saying, you know, this is the like end all be all to retouching and you don't have to do the final, you know, the beginning steps 
of getting a clean base to the image because it's not going to do all of that for you but when you start to learn the logistics and you know the basics of it it helps speed along the process of your workflow a lot more All right, we're going to go over to the face. Still keep that highlight in the face intact. The arms. We're going to zoom out, deselect, and there we are. So far, here's a quick before and after of those simple little steps. So I kind of like what we're getting so far, especially when I zoom in. It looks realistic. We still have, you know, texture, but at the same time, it's not overdone. So what I'm going to do is go into the portion of color grading. So let's see here. I probably will try my black and white new school color grading action that is available on my website Chris Photo Studio in the link below. Let's see what this gives. Well actually what I'm going to do is not use this one and go to there we go. Hmm. Yep, this is the right one. There we go. So it seems that we're getting a little bit brighter at the bottom well, at the top than at the bottom so what I'm going to do is go down here and just brighten it up a little bit there we go and then what I'm going to do up here being that the this is the main light source source and it was closer to his face is bring this down a little bit with the dodge tool right back in here to bring back those details alrighty so I like what the image is looking like so far so I'm going to go into the dodge portion put it at a low opacity and start just personifying where it's already the lights already hitting not too much but so enough it pops a little bit more than what it is. Alrighty. So we're at this portion and what I want to do as well is go into the lens correction. Here we go, Nikon. Camera, where are we? can't see the specific make and model so we'll just go with go and then lens alrighty alright so there we go and then what I'm going to do as well is I want to bring the waist in just a little bit not too much, but just a tad. There we go. Just to make it, you know, not appear so right, there we go. Bring his shoulders down just a tad. The arms in just a tad. And like I said, you just want to diminish things and, you know, keep them looking realistic. 
not to the point it just looks like freaky and you can actually like you can absolutely tell that it's been photoshopped all right but we want to just create proportion all right and i think this is looking really really good Beautiful. All right, there we go. So here's a quick before and a quick after. I'm going to zoom a little bit further out to see if there's anything that I want to move a little bit more. Hmm. Crop factor a little bit. Add a little bit more contrast. And there you have it. I'm pleased with this result. And those the, those are, you know, quick little tips that you can do to be able to enhance an image, keep it with realistic results, but at the same time, polish it up a little bit more than what it was. So I hope you enjoyed my post-processing PPE in Photoshop. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you right back in the next video. Talk to you soon.